Hello my friends. Welcome to the Law of Attraction Power to Row for the week starting June the 10th and ending on June the 17th. This week the energy is still riding off of the June 9th full moon in Taurus and you know full moon energy is ending energy um, and it's going to affect our week in many ways. Uh, when I drew the cards for this week, it was a little surprising. Um, last week's energy talked about empowerment and uh, coming into our own. Um, it was about obstacles and creatively making our way through them. This week, the overall energy, the card that was drawn, is the temperance card. And you can see there's a young girl standing in front of a waterfall. Um, and the reason that she is naked is because she is hiding nothing. Um, she is balancing the inner with the outer. And that's what the temperance card is about. It's about tempering our emotions. It's not letting ourselves go, you know, too far to one side or the other. Um, the temperance card brings us into a sense of balance. Um, sometimes we can find ourselves being knocked off balance when maybe a situation comes up that we're not expecting, um, good or bad, negative or positive. Um, and finding a way to keep ourselves in balance is going to be really important this week. Uh, full moons are also emotional. You know, it's like reaching that peak of emotions before we can let that peak subside and get back into our own. And <laughs> I love the way the universe works. The card that I drew for the beginning of the week was the moon card. And uh, the moon card represents our emotions. Um, as you can see in this card, uh, there's a lot of, um, of night behind her and there's eyes that are staring this is this is looking at our um, our hidden beliefs our unconscious thoughts and uh, exposing them to the full moon's light and the full moon this week is going to be very strong uh, it's going to probably bring us a lot of emotions from the past that we're going to reflect on uh, maybe it'll be decisions that we've made in the past that we wish we had done differently and we're going to reflect on those decisions and realize that the choices we made while at the time they seemed right maybe they weren't or today they may seem right and maybe then they didn't seem they were um, but the full moon energy that is going to be all, with, with us all week we're going to ride that full moon energy all week long and it's about taking a step back, looking at how we've done things in the past and do we want to continue with those things in the future. The middle of the week, this is a, this is a kind of a cool card. This is the Eight of Wands. And uh, that's a bowl of whipped cream and you can see the beater is laying down beside it and it's been beaten from a liquid form um, into a soft peak. And this actually, this card actually represents success, uh, reaching our peak in achievement and, uh, and fulfillment. And uh, it's about um, working ourselves up to where we wanna be. Um, it's about changing the dynamics of who we are. You know, we come into this world with a certain purpose and as we grow through the different stages of our lives and the different ages of our lives, um, you know, the whipped cream will be beaten to different levels. Uh, this card also su suggests that you devote all of your energy, and I'm reading some of my notes here, um, into realizing your dreams. Um, and, and, you know, that's an important, that's an important part of our life is realizing our dreams and knowing that they'll they'll never come to a completion um, there's always going to be a new dream there's always going to be a new discovery we are creative beings we come here to uh, to create and to live that fulfillment 
Uh, we meet new people. We take on new jobs. We have children. We have new interests, new friendships, new love interests, new love friendships. And out of those friendships and relationships, we create our lives. And our lives are changed in many ways, sometimes just by a little insignificant, thoughtful gesture from a friend or a stranger, from a smile of a child, um, the exuberance of a puppy. Uh, I think we have to realize that this journey is here. Part of us is to fulfill ourselves in our soul level, but also to help co-create with others. And at the end of the week, the card that was drawn is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is about the past. Um, I think we're going to be doing a lot of soul searching this week. Uh, this is also talks about balancing um, the, the past with the, with the present. Um, the card shows a man walking away from his past mistakes uh, and, and moving forward. Uh, you know, he's running out of, of sand here. So that, should, that means that eventually whatever past thoughts he's walked away from, he will, he will overcome. It also talks about the return of past love and the reawakening of feelings that were never buried. Um, I don't quite see how that works in this card, but you know, I don't, I don't doubt that that could be part of what we're going to be dealing with. Maybe it is going to be um, a past lover that we run into, or maybe a, a past relationship that's brought up, and you know, we get a chance to look at it again in a new light. Um, maybe it's an old lover that will return into your life and you can rekindle, regroup, who knows, you know, it's, it's up to you. Um, this week too, we have some really good planets that are going to be moving into their home signs. Venus will be transiting in, back into Taurus and, and Venus rules Taurus and Taurus is a grounding energy. Uh, and I like to establish a little bit of the astrology in with my tarot readings because I believe that we are interconnected and I believe that the placement of the planets and the movement and the energy of the outer world, you know, does a lot of movement to the energy of our inner world. Mercury is going to be going into its ruling sign, Gemini. And of course, Mercury is the ruler of communication. And in Gemini, it's the twins. So here again, you know, the twins are balancing the positive and the negative and how that will happen this week with everything, with these planets that are transiting in their home signs. Um, it's going to lead to good communication with the, our loved ones or people we love or good communication with the world in general. I think that, you know, overall the energy of this week is going to be, you know, probably a little more on the emotional side. Um, I think that balancing our emotions sometimes is a difficulty for all of us. Um, I like to think that we have the positive and the negative so that we can follow our guides and our instincts, so we can trust ourselves when we... Um, when we start to move in a direction, if that direction doesn't go smoothly and if we're bucking up against a wall trying to move something forward, that's the universe telling us that's not the right direction. Take a step back and look and see if there isn't another door that opens up or another opportunity for you to look at. Um, if you start moving forward and doors are opening and things are going smoothly and miracles start happening, you know, then the universe is telling you you are definitely on the right path. And with that, my friends, I hope you have an excellent week. Um, I hope that if you are having any difficulties with balance, that you'll start to find that more this week, that the full moon will end some of that indecisiveness, that indecision that sometimes can come into play when we are trying to move ourselves forward, when we have some new directions to take. Um, and I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. I look forward to hearing from you. I will leave a way to contact me in the comments below if there's anything that you want more information on or if you would prefer to have a personal reading on the Law of Attraction Tarot deck. Um, I will also make sure that I, you know, put the information on how to purchase this deck for yourself, you know, in the comments as well. And uh, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for allowing me to take up these few moments of your time.